Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. So now we will start our new topic that is models of atom. In models of atom, models are on the basis of experimental information that is electron, proton and neutron. Okay. G.J. Thompson uh, gave theory in which he said that electron electrically have negative particle, proton is positively charged particle. Okay. After that probable or you can say three possible structure of J.J. Thompson. In first one, he said that proton and electron pair and make structure probably. So let's make a diagram how uh, he said this one. Like uh, this is the structure of the atom, and he said that electron and proton both combine together and making a structure together. Okay, a structure probably. After that, he second said that electron revolve around the proton that electron is re revolving around the proton but electron revolving around the nucleus so he, he didn't give the name of nucleus he just said about the proton like this the proton wait yeah this is a proton and he's saying electron is just revolving around the proton after that third one he said that atom is a space and having building of proton with attached the electron called plum pudding model in plum pudding model actually what happens that he said that we are having an atom in which we are having uh, this is a positive charge proton and he just said that it's attached these are the electron these electron are just attached with the protons but this was, was wrong he gave this one theory but this one this theory was probably wrong after that there were the more inventions so Rutherford took his second probable uh, possible structure that electron revolve around the proton okay so he did experiment known as alpha scattering experiment or you can also say gold foil experiment okay he gave one point over here that polonium po and radium rd have ability to generate alpha rays okay now we will uh, also make a diagram of this one and then understand that how this happens that he said he have taken the second probable model of jj thompson so let's move further okay so first of all what he did he take the plaid box or first of all we should take the polonium that generate alpha rays this is a polonium polonium okay that generate alpha rays and here and here we are having that box and this box is called the plate box this box is called plate box from this box the, the piece is remaining after that what he did that he put gold foil over here it's the gold foil okay he put gold foil over here and after that he also put the zinc sulfate as a resultant zinc sulfate as a resultant and you can write over here gold foil okay now move further when rays come out from this one okay so some rays moving from here okay and this moves all over here inside this we are having nucleus okay what happened that when this strikes to this one uh, he said that atom is an empty from inside so from empty places atom move these rays move out okay and just striking over here and making the glue 
like making the glow but what he see that some of the rays didn't pass through from here because here was a nucleus he observed that and one ray that is directly coming from here main point touch to this one and bounce back means and come backward again so this is called the reflection so he said that here is a something uh, that uh, the bouncing back is happening so he said that uh, alpha rays having a double positive charge and proton is also a positive charge so when it it will be repel uh, to each other so he understood that inside that one we are having nucleus and some of the rays deflect means deflect from the sides means these are the sides the rays are coming and deflecting because from sides we are having a space so it just deflecting so he uh, the process that make over here was this like here i am making this is the diagram after that he said here is a nucleus he, there is a electron inside this we are having empty shells okay empty space so he just proper give the theory of nucleus okay but he, he cannot give he didn't pass to give the theory or to tell them about how electron is revolving over there they are saying that electron emitting energy but when it's revolved it losing its energy emit out its energy because electron have energy so it's it will fall down in a neutron according to electromagnetic theory what they said in electromagnetic theory what happens this is the nucleus and this is the electron it's moving come inside and one time will come it will fall down into nucleus okay so according to electromagnetic theory uh, make uh, electromagnetic theory make his uh this one theory also wrong so after that there is a one more scientist neil bohr who again invent something new for this one so this was uh, this one was about uh, all about this that how uh, the model of atoms be formed so today we have done the two topics one was of rutherford second was of jj thompson okay and uh tomorrow we will more over go with neil bohr to move forward to understand how models of atoms formed hope you all understood this thank you so much